also imagine a robot that can walk like us, see like us, learn like us and even work with us. This is the figure 03, humanoid robot, the latest robot that is making the world go, wait, robots can actually do this now. Today we are going to understand what figure 03 is, how it works and what is inside it and why companies are so excited about it. So let's start it. What is Figure 03. Figure 03 is a humanoid robot made by a company called Figure. Based in the US, humanoid means it looks and moves like a human. Two arms, two legs, hand, finger, etc. etc. Cameras are there and a brain made of AI. This robot is designed to help human in real work like factories, warehouses, hospitals, even homes in this future. So think of it like a robot assistant that can do physical tasks. So the next thing is why did they make it? Right now in the world many jobs are boring, some jobs are dangerous, some people don't have enough workers. So companies want robot that can do basic work like picking up boxes, moving items, helping with backpacking, cleaning, simple repair tasks. Figure 03 is built to fill these roles. So how does figure 03 move? The movement of this robot is one of its most impressive feature. Inside its arms and leg, it has actuators. Actuators are basically its muscles. Our muscles work by pulling bones, but this robot's actuators work using electric motors and precession gears. This allows the robot to walk smoothly, bend its knees, rotate its arms, move its finger gently or firmly, depend on the job. So it doesn't move like old clicky robot that jerks around. Its movement is balanced, precise and controlled and natural. It can only adjust balance in real time. So if you give it a slightly push, it wouldn't fall. Just like we do when we take a step on uneven ground. Just like that. So the next thing is how does figure 03 sees? Instead of eyes, it has camera, depth sensor, 3D environment scanner. It does not just capture pictures, it understands what it sees. For example, if the robot is asked to pick up a bottle, it first looks around the room, identify what is a bottle, calculate the distance and plan how to reach it. It can also tell the difference between a bottle, a cup, a phone, a piece of cloth, also because of all AI visions. It's not just seeing, it's interpreting actually. And here how it thinks. Here where it gets exciting. Inside figure 03 is a brain powered by AI. It works in three steps. Understanding language. If you talk to it, it understand normal sentences. Like example, for example, pick up the red box and put it on the top shelf. Understanding the environment is the second step. It look around, find the red box and see where the shelf is. Number three, planning and movement. It plan the path, grab the box, walk and place it gently. This is something early robot could never do. They needed strict restrictions like move arm 20 degree, close grip, rotate, walk, three steps, release. But figure 03 doesn't need step by step coding. It just makes decisions like human helper. So the next thing is learning by watching just like a child. This is one of the most revolutionary part. Instead of programming every task, figure 03 can learn by observing humans. If a human fold a shirt, cut vegetables, pick a box, uses a tool, the robot watches, record and learn the movement pattern. It is called imitation learning. So the robot isn't just pre-programmed with skills, it collects skills by watching real life data and real life things by observing a human. Just like when, when we, we're little, we learn things. So everyone got a question in this mind, like this robot can, uh, you're talking about this much about this robot, what can it really do in real life? So in real life environment, figure 03 can pick up items with the right amount of force, sort and arrange objects into different categories, carry items while walking carefully, open drawer, cabinets and tools. Place things on shelves accurately, work in warehouses managing products, assist worker in repetitive tasks. It's, all, it's already work in place like warehouse and manufacturing labs. And because software update keep improving, each month it becomes smarter. So why are actually company investing in this? This Think about this. If a single robot work 24 hours a day, don't get tired, don't need lunch breaks, don't get injured and can learn many tasks through software. That means work can get 
be faster, more consistent, safer, less expensive in long term. Companies in industries like auto manufacturing, electronics assembling, logistics and storages, healthcare equipment and handling are already experimenting with humanoid robots like figure 03. This isn't just a concept anymore, it's happening right now. So the actual question is, will this replace human? A question that a lot of people have when they see robots like figure 03 is, this is going to take away jobs from human. The reality is more balanced than that. Figure 03 is not designed to replace human creativity, intelligence or emotional understanding. It's instead, it's designed to take over repetitive, physically exhausting or risky tasks that often cause stress, injury and burnout in work. Think of jobs like lifting heavy boxes all day in warehouse, sorting items for long hours without rest or working environment that may be dangerous for human. While the robot handles these tiring tasks, human can move into roles that require planning, problem solving, teamwork, communications and supervisions. So in start of human versus robot, the future is more like human plus robot working together. Human lead, think and design and robot help carry out the effort. It's teamwork, not replacement. So the actual future vision is the long term vision for human and robot like the figure 03 is actually much bigger than just warehouse or factory work. As the robot learn more skills and AI companies improving, we could see robots sporting daily life in many ways. For example, in hospital, robot could deliver medicines, more equipments or assist nurses with lifting patients safely. In homes, this might help elderly uh, family members stand, move or reach items they can't uh, do their own. During natural disaster, robot can be sent into collapsed building, fire or flooded zone where it is danger for a human rescuers. So these are some of the real life examples that where a robot can be actually a helpful, not a curse that this will take our job or not. So in conclusion, figure 03 show how robot and human can work together. It uh, take out the tough and repetitive tasks while we can focusing on thinking and creating. It's not replacing us, it's helping us and this is the beginning of that future. Thanks for watching.